Paul from Hot and Human Hydroponics. And today, we're gonna pop a cap in those bugs. So today, I'm getting sick and tired of it. I come home, I come to my beautiful garden, and all of a sudden, I see a leafy footed bug sucking away at my tomatoes. And you come home and you see a bunch of stink bugs, or a squash bug, or a vine borer, or a mite, or a ton of stuff, and it just gets old. And you try, and they die. And you try, and they die. And then you go ahead, and you go to the store, and you buy some sprays. Oh, it's Armory Organic! And you go and spray it everywhere. Well, tough luck, the rain just came. And all of a sudden, it's spray everything down and all that effort you put through is now gone two days later that my friends is the difficulty in growing in Florida anyways this is Paul from hot and humid hydroponics and I was kind of being a little bit goofy but really I want to talk to you about a new product called uh, surround WP it's my first time trying it out and uh, surround WP is a wettable powder and bottom line all it does is it, uh, it it sprays uh, puts a, a fine powder spray that sticks to the leaf surface of all the plants and it does a couple of things number one it agitates the bug not like diatomaceous earth where the diet de actually cuts into the bug but it actually agitates the bug bugs are constantly cleaning themselves probably than most guys do but uh, beyond that, what you've got are these bugs that are constantly cleaning, but that means they're not eating, and that means they're not laying eggs either. So they really don't like the, the surface of the plant. Number two, it also provides um, some reflective qualities. So the manufacturer says it will rep, uh, lower the surface temperature of your plants by 15 degrees. That is a lot of degrees when it comes to a 95 degree summer day. So you spray this on the fruit itself and you spray it on the actual, the leaves and they don't get beat up as much and your fruit comes out. Now, is it safe? Well, kaolin clay, which is what Surround WP really is, is used in everything from stuff you take internally to everything. This is just not like a super clean variety. Not that it's poisonous or it's not food grade. But no, honestly, what it does is it's just, you know, of a quality that you could spray it over your food. And when you go back, you got to wash it off. It's just not the end of the world if you get some inside of you. Um, that's all it is. It's just mine clay from Georgia. But one of the advantages is, is that it actually sticks to the surface of the leaves and leaves a pretty strong residual even after a rain. Which is kind of what we need here in Florida. We need something that's going to stick by our plants through this rain so what the video is all about today is that i'm just going to be kind of mixing it up and spraying it and i'm going to try to do as best as i possibly can to get video because holding a one gallon sprayer while trying to spray is not always the easiest so i tell you what i'm going to do i'm just going to go ahead and spray and i'm going to show you the results after it's all done stay tuned hey this is paul from hot and humid hydroponics coming back here so uh this is me my well my garden sprayed after I put down a layer of uh, Surround WP. So it's my first time using Surround WP. Um, it's not exactly a tricky uh, product, but let me kind of explain a couple things. So Surround WP is, again, going back to what I said earlier, was is kaolin clay, okay? It's a wettable powder. And for those who are not used to dealing with wettable powders, uh, Hold on, I just got bit by something here. Wettable powders mean that it's not going to dissolve in the water. It's just going to be suspended in the water. That means that you need to go in there and shake that one gallon little spray bottle right there like vigorously while you're spraying it. Okay, so it's a little bit of a trick. It's nothing crazy. It's just annoying. Um, but what it does, it keeps it suspended, keeps it agitated, and the bugs will eventually not really like it. Now, in its wet state right now, i got a couple bugs landing on it. They don't seem to care. They're not doing anything. But then again, that may be kind of the point. Yeah, actually, here we go right now. Maybe you can see it. He is on it, and he is not liking it. He's cleaning. This is what you're doing. This is a vectoring bug. I'm not sure what kind of bug this is. I really wish I could get there. We go. That's a vectoring bug, and he is cleaning himself. He is not liking that mix. He's trying to find a suitable spot, and he is gone. He flew off. So, 
what this does, guys, is it lays down a film, a powder film, all over your garden. And it might take a couple of, uh, it might take a couple of sprays to lay down a nice coat. But ultimately, you can see it here, I've really got it on nice and thick on my tomato plants. I don't know what it is about these, um, uh, these uh, Sun Gold tomatoes, which have been, by the way, really tasty variety. Sun Gold cherry tomatoes, they are a hybrid. Uh, don't shoot me. A lot of people kind of like the whole heirloom thing around here. Uh, but I prefer certain types of hybrids. Um, don't get me wrong, I've got nothing against heirlooms. It's just the variety I chose. And uh, But, however, it is attracting uh, leaf footed bugs like crazy i've never seen them in my yard before maybe once or twice but not like every day i'm on this guys these however the tomato plant that's a just directly adjacent which is a blueberry tomato i get it's huge um barely barely see any of them on there now however what scared me earlier is i thought i saw two lovers fly away which was not good um going back to lovers lovers that's a bad situation. If you got lubbers, this is that's not good. But I'm sorry, kind of detracted here. Back to surround WP. Bottom line, it's gonna dry. It's gonna lead a powder white film. That powder white film is gonna agitate bugs. And the good news is, is that it's supposed to stay after a couple of rains, which is important when you're extending out a summer garden that usually gets beat to crap by bugs come June, okay? Also, big thing, keeps the temperatures on the surface, temperatures on the leaves down by 10 to 15 degrees by acting as a reflectant. So the, all that white powder ends up reflecting that sun, cools the leaves, allows better perspiration. Uh, the tomatoes are now coated in the stuff, which again is ultra safe um, and is designed to uh, reflect the sun so they won't get sun scald, etc. Going over to, here's a prime example of what it's going to look like. So here is a watermelon I sprayed first, and that's what it's going to look like. It's going to look spattered, just like that. Here are my watermelon leaves. Some of them are doing okay, some of them not so much. This vine is about had it. But I got a good vine going here. I got some good, t I got some good, uh, uh, s some good uh, watermelons coming in here. They've been pretty tasty. Full of seeds, though. Not sure if I'll be going with this variety again. Also, it just they've, they've been taking a beating this summer. A lot of, again... Going back, they were fine up until the stink bugs showed up. Not the stink bugs, but the squash bugs, which are just as bad. So, as I'm rambling on here, again, you can see, hopefully you can see, some of this white powder. That's not powdery mildew. That's me spraying the spray, and I'll be spraying it. Yeah, I know. This guy looks pretty rough, too, but guess what? He's still putting out tons of cucumbers. Lots and lots of cucumbers, so I haven't had the heart to pull it. And on the flip side here, which is the other side of the whole picture, it don't look so bad. So here we are in June, and I still got cucumbers. I'll take it. The, the bell peppers, on the other hand, they're holding up, but I think they're stressing because of the heat. I might put some 85% uh, sunshade above it, but they are kind of getting beat up by the heat and the bugs. So they got sprayed the best. Um, as you can see here, it really, the type of uh, leaf surfaces is really what's going to show whether it's how white it's going to be. In this case, these guys are going to be able to be white, and I'm probably going to put another coat on these guys probably tomorrow. I got three days of dry weather, and I want to lay down a nice coat. Um, as we're moving along here, some more of my peppers, and again, the beans, who might be at the point of no return. Although I keep on getting more beans over here. Uh, they're just getting tore the heck up. I think it's got a fungus and I'm, I'm actually considering ripping the whole thing out and starting over to put something else here. Maybe some of uh, Mary's, um, Mary, uh, Mary from Heirloom Seeds has been, uh, over at Florida Urban Homesteading, uh, nonprofit has been talking to me about doing some, uh, what's it called? Seminole pumpkins. A couple of you guys have recommended them. So I'm thinking about putting some Seminole pumpkins and trellising them. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. But beyond that, guys, folks, uh, I didn't put any of my greens. I'm going to be picking a whole horde of those tomorrow. What's the point of sitting there having to wash them double time? Uh, but beyond that, this is, this is what it is. It's nothing fancy, but the good news is, is that Everything is drying to a haze. See, as the longer I'm waiting around, the, the whiter it's getting. And that's awesome. That's exactly what I want to see. You see how white these tomato plants are now? 
they're, I mean, they're bone white in some areas. And that's exactly what I'm looking for. I know it doesn't look nearly as pretty. It just doesn't. It kind of messes with the color of your garden. But you know what? It's nice to be able to have a garden because you got it on there. That's my opinion. Anyways, this is Paul from Hot and Humid Hydroponics. Oh, again, where to get it? Um, crop Production Services. Look up CPS, not Child Protection Services. Don't click on those guys. But Crop Production Services. Really nice folks. There's one located in Parrish, Florida. That was the nearest one for me. But they're all over the U.S. And this, is again, is Surround WP. It's about... It was 20 it was $30 after tax for a 25 pound bag. I used a half a cup inside of a one gallon sprayer and I practically sprayed the entire garden. So it's you know it's fairly economical. I mean don't get me wrong, it's pricey, but it just beats having to spray down all kinds of bug spray. And I'm not saying you're not going to still have to come back and hit it with your antifungals, etc., but if you can have some layer of general protection against bugs, you know, that's a deterrent, that's what I'm looking for. Anyways, this is Paul from Hot and Humid Hydroponics. Ask questions below if you have any questions. Bye.